Time Tracker is an extension allowing users to manage their tasks and record their time throughout the day. Let's get started. So once the extension is installed, you will see a Time Tracker icon as well as the time running on the upper right corner. If I open a contact, lead, opportunity ticket, or any other record, I can then start the time. Simply click on the icon and the window will be presented where you can start the timer. Just go ahead and hit start. Put in the subject what the activity or the time is being recorded for. So let's put in call. Then you can select what type of activity or the time log that is. Um, in this case, let's do say a meeting and description details just put in what the activity is about and what has been done within the time that you spent working on that activity. Made a call, left a voicemail. Then um, as you're working on this activity you can switch between the windows and the time will still keep running. So as an example I go to opportunities I can see the timer is still there. I can simply click and expand my current running timer. I can collapse it and I can work within multiple records at the same time while having multiple timers running. So this one is still running for Dorothy. So what I can do now is I can start the timer for the opportunity that I have open. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So now as I do that, I will name this timer as a test opportunity. Let's make this a administrative work, test admin. And then if I scroll down below, I can see that the initial record that I started working with, I spent only a minute and 13 seconds while the second timer is already running. I can simply switch from one timer to another by just clicking on this icon right here and it takes me back to the original record that I started working with and it opens up the notes and the activity that I already started. And you can switch between any activities and screens and the timer will still keep running. So say I'm done with the call, the next thing is um, I will complete the time log and what happens then is the comment has been created as well as activity associated with this contact. So if I go to activities, I can see my call has been made 10.42 a.m. And if I go back to the contact summary, I can see that the comment has been also created. I can simply click on the icon again. I can start another timer for Dorothy or I can go to another timer and work from there. The next nice thing about this tool is that all the time that you spend can be billed for. For example, we just recorded an activity, which was a call under this contact, and I can then simply create an invoice and bill for the time spent. For example, if I go to invoices, click add an invoice, if I scroll down, I can click review time logs and I will then be presented with all the time logs that are currently available for that organization and the contact. I can simply select the ones that I want to include on the invoice. On the pop-up you can see the subject that we put in the description when it was completed and the duration. If I click add to invoice it will then add those items to my invoice and you can see the description is pre-filled with the date that this activity has been completed and the description. In addition the quantity is converted into from hours into the quantity field and then multiplied by the list price for each of the services that you have set up for your time tracking and we'll cover that in a second. If I save the invoice it will then create the invoice associated to the contact and organization 
and lastly the activities that we already invoiced for the time logs they will no longer show up in the review time logs since they have already been invoiced for now to cover the basics on how to create activities and different activity types so those can be built at different rates you should um, do three things so the first let's take another look at the time log pop-up so if I click on my activity I can then start it again so this is where all your activity types are and based on each type you can then charge a different rate for the time spent so in order to create a new activity type what we have to do is go to CRM settings studio pick list editor first let's select events which are our activities and then we need to add a new activity type so in this case let's add say maintenance save it so now we have a new activity type next we need to create a service category so we can assign a pricing so then I select services from my pick list I select the category and then I add a new value as well which would be exactly the same as we added for the activity type so it's maintenance and the third step is to just create a service for maintenance so if I go to all list of my services and I will add a new service let's do maintenance work I have to select the category which we just created is maintenance you can put in description put in the price tax if applicable and save it so now every time someone creates an activity or a time log with the category of maintenance you'll be able to build that at an hour rate of 500 so if we go back to our running timer uh, let's just open up a new one let's go to Barbara go to timer of course it's running for Dorothy I'll switch it to Dorothy is completed and now I'll start a timer for Barbara and as I do I can see that I'm able to select the new type which is maintenance um, lastly let's cover the settings for this tool so if we go to the CRM settings under other settings we go to time tracker so what we see here is which modules the time tracker will be enabled for you can check and uncheck those next we have the fields that are available on this pop-up you can include for example priority set the default value the next time you start a timer the priority will be as one of the fields in the pop-up next we have the ability to edit start and end time so currently the users can click on the time and date and change it but you can prevent that by just disabling those two checkboxes comments in case you don't want to include comments on your records you can disable that as well and lastly we have the invoicing section which can be enabled or disabled so that pretty much sums up the functionality for the time tracker so a few key points you can switch from timer to timer anytime the timer can be running continuously even if you close vtiger if you go to another record and in addition you can bill for the time spent on the contact organization or ticket say if you create an, a, a time log on the ticket that time log will then transfer to the contact and the organization that the ticket is assigned to and you'll be able to create an invoice for that time spent